Hi, this is Jackson Burns. I'm going to be talking about contrails or chemtrails. Contrails. I'm in Hevener, Oklahoma, just outside the Hevener Runstone State Park. And as the contrails come over, they and they they leave a long stream. They will evaporate and make into willowy wisp of clouds, such as these. and these are heavier than air as you can see as it goes along it's getting lower in the air it's coming to the ground so whatever it is that they're spraying is heavier than air and a lot of people say that they use uh, mind controlling drugs or other things in these to control the American population. I don't know. But I do know one thing. This is evidence that it is heavier than air and it's not a cloud. And here is a cloud that's directly over me coming down. Where are you? So, you can see we caught somebody spraying it in the act. He's gone that away. Now they've uh, they've done this with bugs. They've act in this area. They have actually come over in airplanes and dropped bugs that killed some kind of fungus in these trees, supposedly. And uh, this area was infected with these little brown, reddish looking bugs for years. Uh, don't know, don't know what all this is about, but there's stuff happening. Only a few years ago, you would never see airplanes in this region. No jets or anything. They even flew over there. So only in the past 10 to 20 years, this has started happening. 
Fort Smith is over that way. There ain't nothing that way for a long ways. Driving out in the country, chasing contrails, and there doesn't seem like there's any kind of established pattern whatsoever. All these planes are flying in crisscross patterns, the only thing, there's a pattern without a pattern so much. So basically what it is, I'm surrounded by contrails all the way around. What I do know is whenever the contrails come over, they drift over the mountains and they seem to settle right on the mountains and the land here. Just driving around and on both sides of me are contrails and above me and the planes are flying not in a pattern but a pattern basically it's it's different <laughs> I don't know how to explain it they're flying east and west and then kind of at, at angles going across uh, kind of like X marks uh, then they come back and fly over and fly over again and do the same thing and they're doing it all the way around miles and miles around uh, even back over the Kayamichi Mountains over there there's not much over there so not really knowing what's going on uh, they're not flying by any set uh, air pattern or Damn. I'm in front of my father's house in Oklahoma this is one of the uh, planes spraying the, the chemtrails Contrails, whatever you want to call it. You can see more back here behind me. They're all the way around us. Sorry about the sun. You get that out of your eyes. There's another one over here going across. You can see the cloud above me. It's fixing to settle. Earlier I was on that side of the mountain at the Runstone Park down in the valley. So, uh, I don't know. You can see the clouds back over here kind of just settling. Well, here I am on top of the mountain at the Heaton Runstone State Park. And uh, as you can see by the clouds, this is the next day after the chemtrails or contrails that I saw yesterday. This is the next day, day after. And as you can see, it looks pretty bad out. So it's really cloudy. Now, a lot of people, experts or spurts or people that, that talk about this chemtrail, contrail stuff say that uh, it's supposed to, that the reason that, that they do this is to change the weather uh, and pity people have noticed that always after a chemtrail or contrails, usually the next day the weather changes I don't know, I'm not an expert on chemtrails or contrails, but we 
are showing you evidence perhaps that stuff happens like that hmm. even in Oklahoma Right behind me, even in Oklahoma, right there, hometown. This is the two days after the uh, Boreum or whatever. It's two days after I saw the chemtrails, contrails, chemtrails, and it is pouring down rain. They say that this is part of the uh, process, and that's the reason that they spray that is to control the food sources in America or wherever, whatever country that they're doing this in. Game trails two days ago is raining now. Been raining all night. I'm sitting where I was two days ago and as you can see uh, by the back window and the front window it's pouring down rain out there now this is exactly where I was when I saw the contrails or chemtrails if there, it looks like they're chemtrails uh, mainly because of the way that they set a pattern, which wasn't really a pattern, but it was a pattern, a grid, basically, uh, a leaning grid, looked to me like, across the sky, all the way across, from the planes le leaving the chemtrails. Uh, what is, it says is they put beryllium and aluminum in it and uh, into these chemtrails, and as it drops, it supposedly changes the weather pattern. And whenever I came up here all the people were saying how bad it was how dry it was all that as far as had been any rain up here in over a month and really there's not that much of a big of a population but there's a lot of forestry that goes on up here for the pulp wood and for our logging industries and so that most likely is the reason why they would plant any kind of uh, our, our chemtrails in the sky uh, would be to take care of the forestry because the trees were getting really really bad shape uh, getting uh, dry and uh, ready to burn at any moment uh, so basically it not only whenever they do this it helps us as far as uh, as far as being able to control fire patterns uh, to keep the fire uh, down as we came across the mountain we saw a sign that said fire danger extremely high in this area so that's basically what we're looking at probably is they set these chemtrails out to help the wood industry and to keep flames and fire from destroying everything contrails oklahoma jackson burns signing off Adventure to the Unexplained.